experience. Oh man, our opener is beautiful. The people are beautiful. The, the food is great. The atmosphere is amazing. The beaches are nice. You can like see through the water. Like Italy was a great experience for me. I like Cali too. California was great for me too, but uh, I like something about being overseas, man, the culture, the love you get there. Um, and they can cook over there in Italy. Like my grandma, they cook a lot of food. <laughs> Comfort food. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Plus, that's where my wife's from. I like her to, uh, I like to go over there and watch her interact with her family as well, because, uh, it's a beautiful thing, man. It's a beautiful thing. Family's everything. Everything. Uh, I'm usually up by now. I'm usually, I'm usually up and going before the sun even come up. So, but it's Monday. Monday is a tough for everybody, I guess. They gotta get their life together. <laughs> I've been with Donovan, training with Donovan for 15 years, so I guess I'm kind of the OG. <laughs> uh, yeah, so we've been together for 15 years, training together, and over those 15 years, I have been through, um, I've survived cancer, and I've had a rotator cuff surgery, and while my attitude probably could have changed and I could have given up, continuing to train um, has made all the difference because it's helped me both emotionally as as well as physically training with him. Donovan has been uh, a great friend to myself and my husband along with his wife Aloria and he's just been there through thick and thin. Do it all. Um, I'm a personal trainer. I work at a building blocks therapeutic facility as a behavior technician working with autistic children. Um, I've been, uh, I got my plaque the other day, it was for five years, and um, it's been a blessing helping those kids out. You don't know how thankful you are until you step step inside that building and, and work with those kids with those disabilities because they're just as smart as we are. And um, that's what really, I mean, if we wanted to say something, never lose strength, that goes to that autistic children. Never lose strength. I mean, it's all in the same boat when I categorize never lose strength. Um, what else I do? Landscaping, wash cars, I cut hair. Um, for me, it's, uh, I remember I was working four jobs at one time, trying to make ends meet when college fell through and I ain't have my shit together, so. For me, it's, I do whatever it takes, especially with having a family right now. Like, as a man, you're supposed to get out here and provide. So every day I get up, I feel like, hey, thank God for another day. Hey, how has Donovan changed my life? In 2015, I started this journey with him and he has truly made me feel that I can do. I was full of I can't, afraid, scared of being in the gym with the, I call the skinny girls. And I thought being skinny made you healthy. But along being with Donovan as not only a friend and as my little brother, he has shown me that sometimes we see things in different eyes as if to say, that's how you should be but as long as you do it and give it your all, then you'll be fine. And when, when every client or person that you meet, what is, the, what is the outcome that you want them to always remember you by? Like what type of person you want them to be like, oh, I know Donovan, like Donovan's this and this. Like, oh man, it's, a, it's an experience when you meet me because for one, I'm trying to change your outlook on fitness anyway. Because a lot of time people come in and look at fitness as a physical, you know, something physical. They they want to change their body. They want to lose some weight. Uh, I want to get bigger. I want to, you know, so it's a physical outlook that they have on fitness. And when they come in, I want to change their mind. Like, 
I want the I want that mental uh, workout. I don't just want the physical part. I want you to change your mindset, you know, because fitness is not about, it's not a temporary fix. A lot of people look at fitness as a temporary fix. They want to say, hey, I want to look like this. I want this beach body. I want this big butt. I want this small stomach. You know, they want to be in shape. And I look at fitness for the longevity purposes, like changing your eating habits and, and you know, waking up with a healthy mind and having a healthy outlook at life. And like I said before, it's, it's deeper than the gym for me. Like People think they come to me to just get a workout. It ain't just a workout. Like You're going to leave that happy. You're going to leave that smiling. You might come in down. You might come in crying. But by the time you leave my door and leave my facility, you're going to be you gonna be smiling, man. So I try to uplift everybody. Even on my down days, people come in and and they inspire me to be great. You know what I mean? Sometimes I'm having a bad day because every day ain't good. And they just, my clients over the years, man, have have been amazing. And uh, I couldn't have made it this far without them. So. Shit. It's <laughs> a lot of embarrassing things I'd have done. I don't really get embarrassed because I'm a fool anyway, so. I couldn't really pinpoint. I would say this. <laughs> so my grandma used to like, God, man. After the leaves fell off the trees, she would, this, we ain't had the money, had no leaf blower, nothing, no fancy leaf blower. So she would have me rake these leaves. I mean, we got like, my grandma got like a big yard. Like it's huge, probably half an acre in the front and then in the back. And it's a pile of trees. So, she would have me rake the leaves. Well, I think I was young, probably about probably about 12. She had showed me how to rake the leaves and, and burn them. We used to burn the leaves, so she went home. I think she might have been in the house one day, so I had like, I was terrible. So I had like, stole the matches out of my grandfather's uh, Toyota. <laughs> I'm gonna burn these leaves. So I strike the match. Threw it, it went out. I straightened it again, threw it. Them damn leaves set fire. Man, I burnt the whole woods up. I'm rolling, I got fire on my legs. I tried to run, grab some buckets, set it off, fire department came. And uh, that's probably the most embarrassing because I did that shit twice. <laughs> I tried to do it again, the fire department came out two times. I done burnt the damn woods up. I don't know how many. So I don't burn no leaves no more. I get out there and and now I can afford a leaf blower. So I get out there and, and blow them joints for it. And, and I let her burn them. She's the expert. So. Raised me from a kid and taught me how to mature as a man and how to be a hardworking person and uh, how to just love life in general and be successful. Uh, thank you for everything you've done for me and making me the man I am today, helping me be successful in life and always caring for me and everybody else around you and making sure that I have what I need and what I need to grow up as a person. And I love you more than anything. Donovan, you have truly been an amazing friend, brother, trainer to me. And I am eternally grateful to have you in my life. I wish you nothing but the best. Keep reaching for the stars. And if life throws you lemonade, get you a bat and swing. Love you, baby. Um, I'm grateful for you. Um, you helped me not only go to gym, but outside of the gym. Um, you got my family going to church. Um, my kids love you. I'm grateful for you. You've inspired me more than you know. I don't know if you're, you know, 
you do a lot of inspirational stuff. But for me, this time around, this weight loss journey was mental, physical, and spiritual, and you've been a part of that. So I will forever be grateful to you. Ah uh, man, um, just keep going. You know what I mean. Don't let don't let nothing get you down. You know what I mean. As you've been doing, you know, and always put God first. Just always keep being you, and thanks for all you do. I pray for him every day that God would give him um, good help because he motivates a lot of people. And when I'm feeling down, I just think of him, if he can do it, with what he's going through, what's my excuse when I don't have nothing going through? Donovan, keep doing what you're doing because you're an awesome person. I love you. And what you're doing is an, a great thing. And I wish so many other people would give you that um, chance to change their lives like you did mine. How are you um, doing? I'm proud of you. I know where you came from. I know the original dream that you've always had. I know how many times over the years I've heard you say that you wanted to have your own gym, to have your own training facility. And I'm proud of you for not giving up, for never losing strength, even when you've gone through your health issues and coming from um, maybe not always having the best support system growing up and just overcoming you are the true uh, the, the mantra of never lose strength because that's what you've done with your with your um, business and with your health fitness that you and you give back that back to everybody else. Donovan, I just want to let you know, man, you you're like a brother to me. Um, I look up to you. It's like I said, I look at the things you've been through and how you still continue to strive to push us to be better, even on those days where I know you're not feeling your best. I just want to let you know, man, I appreciate you, and I love you. Donovan, we just love you so much, and we are so grateful for you. Every single day that yeah. I see you, I've never once regretted coming to you. You have Absolutely. been insanely awesome for me, and I can't speak yeah. for him. But Sorry. it has been a wonderful experience, and we would not in a million years go to anyone else. You're awesome. We love Absolutely. you so much. <laughs> yeah, total inspiration. Uh, it sucks, but it's worth it. <laughs> I had no other way to put it, but... I totally appreciate you. Wouldn't go to anybody else. We love you. Thank you for uh, uh, the man that you are. Thank you for um, bringing me in, um, not only as your client, but now one of your your boys, your brothers. Um, it's been life changing to me and my wife, our whole family. Um, definitely wouldn't be the person that I am if it wasn't for meeting you and uh, doing the things we've done together. I appreciate you, and I love you, brother. Keep moving forward, keep pushing, keep dreaming, um, and definitely keep reaching for the stars. Hey Donovan, I'm very grateful for you and thankful for everything you've done for me. I love you, we both do. Thank you. Babe, I love you so much and I'm so proud of you. You have no idea. And I want you to continue to be positive, continue to be a blessing, and never let anybody anybody bring you down.